The Rise and Fall of the Roman Empire Introduction The Roman Empire stands as one of the greatest and most influential civilizations in history, spanning over a thousand years from its humble beginnings as a small city-state to its ultimate collapse. This epic tale is one of triumph, expansion, power struggles, and eventual decline. Let us embark on a journey through the rise and fall of the Roman Empire. 1. The Rise of Rome Foundation and Early Republic The story begins in 753 BC with the founding of Rome by Romulus and Remus. Initially, Rome was a small settlement governed by kings, but it transitioned into a republic around 509 BC, giving rise to the Senate and the system of representative government, expansion and conquest. Rome steadily expanded its territory through military conquests, bringing neighboring regions under its control. The Punic Wars against Carthage, led by generals such as Hannibal and Scipio Africanus, marked significant victories for Rome and solidified its dominance in the Mediterranean. 2. The Golden Age of the Roman Empire the Julio-Claudian dynasty. With the ascension of Augustus as the first emperor in 27 BC, the Roman Empire entered a period of relative stability and prosperity. Augustus's reign was followed by the Julio-Claudian dynasty, which included emperors like Tiberius, Caligula, Claudius and Nero, Pax Romana. Under the Pax Romana, Roman peace, which lasted from 27 BC to 180 C, the empire experienced unprecedented peace and economic growth. The construction of grand architectural marvels, such as the Colosseum and aqueducts, showcased Rome's wealth and power. 3. Decline and Crisis Economic Challenges the expansion of the empire led to increased expenses and the decline of small farmers contributing to economic inequality and social unrest. The reliance on slave labor and the depletion of resources also strained the economy, political instability. The 3rd century sea witnessed a period of internal strife, known as the crisis of the 3rd century. Frequent changes in leadership, civil wars and invasions weakened the empire, leading to a lack of central authority. External threats. The Roman Empire faced mounting external pressures from Germanic tribes, the Persian Empire, and later the Huns. These invasions further stretched Rome's resources and eroded its military power. 4. Fall of the Roman Empire, Division and Fall of the West. In 285 C, Emperor Diocletian divided the empire into the Western and Eastern Roman Empires, seeking to better administer the vast territories. The Western Roman Empire faced numerous challenges, including invasions by barbarian tribes such as the Visigoths and Vandals. In 476 C, the last Roman emperor, Romulus Augustus, was deposed by the barbarian chieftain Odoacer, officially marking the end of the Western Roman Empire. Survival of the Eastern Roman Empire the Eastern Roman Empire, later known as the Byzantine Empire, managed to endure and preserve Roman traditions, culture and governance. It continued for nearly a millennium until the fall of Constantinople to the Ottoman Turks in 1453 c. Conclusion. Conclusion. The rise and fall of the Roman Empire serves as a powerful reminder of the complexities and challenges that accompany the exercise of power and the maintenance of vast empires. From its early origins as a republic to its eventual demise, the Roman Empire left an indelible mark on history, shaping art, literature, law, language, and governance for centuries to come.